conversation. All are invited to the table to hear the message of inspiration and hope from small business owners across the country as we celebrate diversity in culture and cuisine. Welcome to Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America, hosted by Cynthia McAllister. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America. And I am your host, Cynthia McAllister. And I have a lovely guest here today, Miss Latrell Fitchett. And we will be talking about her businesses soon. But before we begin, I want to first start off with the food for today. Today, the dish is macaroni and cheese. <laughs> now, this is a recipe that Latrell provided, and it was it was very interesting when I made it because I'm like, oh, I never made mac and cheese like this before. So let me take a bite. Mmm. It's very good, and it tastes familiar because I've tried other mac and cheese recipes, and this one tastes like a, a recipe that I've t tried before, but I've never made. So, Miss Latrell, can you talk about what this means to you, the mac and cheese, and why do you why did you decide to share it? Um, the mac and cheese goes back down generations. Um, it started with my grandmother and my mother. Um, we were in the kitchen cooking, and they were teaching me how to make macaroni and cheese among mother uh, uh, among other recipes. Wonderful. So what you're saying is it brings back an element of home and familiarity. Yes. So just the connection that I had with my mother and grandmother, um, being in the kitchen, cooking different recipes, learning how to um, perfect their dishes. Um, it means a lot to me. And put a lot of love and joy in the recipes because that's what they gave to me. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that, Latrell. So let me just go ahead and describe. So um, the dish is very, very, I would say scrumptious, right? I could, I could taste the cheese and I could see the, uh, the flavors like the eggs, they come out and pop as well. Um, it's very nice and flavorful, I would say. So this was very good. I appreciate you sharing this dish. And you guys can be sure to get the recipe at the end of the show. Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit more about Latrell. So Latrell is the owner of Promoting Love and Wisdom, Home Child Care, and Push Academy. And uh, Latrell, can you tell us a little bit more about your business? Promoting Love and Wisdom, Home Child Care is located and one of the highest crime areas in Washington, D.C. Uh, we service ages six weeks of age to 12 years of age. And uh, we are 23 hours of service. We implemented the STEM program into our program, which is Push Academy in 2017. So Latrell, becoming a business owner is really hard. So what made you decide to go into business for yourself? Uh, it was my mother's vision. She saw the passion um, I was providing tutoring service in the evenings for the children in the community in Ward 7, and she wanted me to be a business owner, and I, I was running away from it, but I eventually um, listened to her voice after she passed away. Oh, wow. So what is it about the neighborhood? You mentioned earlier that's one of the highest crime rates. So how are you able to help and support the community with your business? By being a community leader, an advocate, uh, providing resources for the community, um, being uh, speakers for inequality in the community, uh, just being that voice. I actually sit on uh, President Biden's American Rescue Plan, uh, being the voice for uh, it, uh, community uh, members that don't have a voice or not being heard, I'm that voice, I'm that mouthpiece um, to make sure that they are being heard. You've done a lot of planning for women's events. Can you share a little bit more about the event that you recently planned? Um, actually, last week I had an international conference where the topic was push 
loving on yourself empowered women. And we had women from all over the world that was on that platform speaking. We had Dr. Kendra McDowell, the chief medical officer of Baltimore, Maryland. We had yourself, uh, Cynthia McAllister uh, with Keyspot app. Um, we had um, Angelique Okiki, uh, the vice president of the general council for North America and Poland uh, on the platform for night. And we had Sarah Lopez with uh, Swag Bag on the platform. So many powerful uh, women entrepreneurs were on that platform. We were engaged, educated, and empowered. We cried, we laughed. We had self-care. Um, we had April showers on there that um, has a dynamic voice. Um, so we had some amazing women on the platform. So why do you feel it's important to have such events and planning uh, that focuses on supporting women in business and uh, it, with women organizations? Um, it's very important to me. I actually started out with the one million women uh, with Goldman Sachs were Aisha Carey and Jessica Johnson Cope. And that's where I was able to connect to Cynthia McAllister and Michelle Walker Davis with IMG. And uh, the list goes on and on. But uh, I'm so thankful for that platform because I am now uh, one of the 10,000 small business uh, for Goldman Sachs. And the connection that we have experienced. Um, we, we have a, uh, I'm having an event coming up soon where I'm gonna be spearheading in DC, Maryland and Virginia, small business owners. If you are looking for startup funding and grants, please go to my website. We're gonna help you. Um, if you have that idea or that vision that you wanna start up, this is the time. Um, we're going to help you. We're going to help you go through the process with getting your license, getting your clean hands. Everything that you need will be at this platform event coming up soon. So please, please go to pushingstem.weebly.com, sign up, because this is an event you definitely, if you have a small business and you need funding, we're going to help. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And we are going to stay tuned with more of Miss Luttrell Fitchett after this break. We were looking for some place we'd never been before. So I used the Key Spot app and found Chell's Bistro. Patricia! This bistro is great. How did you find it? I used the Key Spot app, enter a location, and it finds businesses in the event. Oh, here. See? I love that. All the information in one key spot. Key spot. Find and share businesses, find and share services and events. All in one key spot. Download for free today. And we're back with more of Latrell Fitchett and her wonderful company, uh, Push Academy and Promoting Love and Wisdom Home Child Care Center. All right, so Ms. Luttrell, I'd like to ask you to share a testimonial of how you've overcome challenges as a business owner, because we know out here it's hard to be able to, to thrive and continue to go forward. So how have you been able to uh, get through these times? Actually, uh, when we were impacted with the COVID-19 in March of 2020, um, we had to be shut down by the mayor. So we actually had to pivot the business by creating and patenting and trading our brand. We created a logo and we started uh, our clothing and accessories. Uh, I was able to write five children's books. Uh, I became a DC notary. Um, and I also got my real estate certificate. Um, so these different areas we were able to cover to make sure that our business was sustained through COVID-19. Um, we provided remote learning, um, educational resources for the families during the pandemic, providing them with diapers and wipes and going to their homes, just checking on them, making sure they were okay because 
it can be very overwhelming when you as a parent are used to just seeing your children in the mornings and in the evenings and not having that connection with them during the day. Um, so they had to um, basically be the teacher. And it was very overwhelming for some of, some of the parents. So that's how I was able to um, just, you know, get through the pandemic. It was very um, stressful. We lost loved ones, but uh, we sustained through it all. Wow. I'm sure your faith has helped you as far as losing people. I know that's a tough situation. Absolutely. Um, my faith is what brought me through. Um, we, you know, it, it was very hard because, you know, during, when you lose loved ones, you have your family, your, uh, your church family, friends, and, uh, that will come and support you. But during the pandemic, you couldn't have homegoing services. Um, a lot of the, uh, churches were shut down because of the pandemic. We, some people had to have grave sites. Um, some had to have services at the funeral, which was a limited capacity. And basically it was just a few family members. It wasn't even your whole family could come. So it was very difficult to go through that process of um, losing a loved one and not having support that you're used to having. So why do you love your business and why do you love what you do? Um, you know, it stems from my grandmother's teachings. She always taught me to treat people like you want to be treated. And I feel like when you do that, um, sharing is caring. And when you give love, God is love. And that is my key of making sure that I'm giving love to whoever I come in contact with. Because I know when I share love and show love, God's going to bless me. So that, that's the key. You have to give in order to get. And I'm so proud to say that you are a Key Spot business partner. And it's so wonderful to have you as a partner. So how has Key Spot supported you and your business? Um, the connection that uh, Key Spot has given me has been amazing. Um, I have been able to create an app. They've created an app for me. They have advertised my business and connected me with other business owners in so many ways. Um, I've connected uh, with entrepreneurs out of the country and the connection just goes on and on. I, I think we have a sisterhood um, that, you know, is, is, is very special to my heart. Um, I'm just thankful to be a part of Key Spot. Um, and I encourage anyone that's out there that's a business owner, definitely go to the app. And I, I, I tell you the connection that you will receive from so many amazing powerhouse entrepreneurial women, um, you, you will not regret it at all. Yeah. And then also Latrell was the winner of the Key Spot yeah. Business Partner Grant. So we offer small business grants throughout the quarter and throughout the year to uh, small businesses. So wonderful Latrell. And we're gonna be back with more of Latrell Fitchett after this. And we're back with more of Latrell and talking about her wonderful businesses. So I'd like to ask the question, who are two of your inspirations in business and why? Why do they inspire you? Um, my two inspirations was first my mother. Um, she just had a spirit that was driven, um, just, just such a given spirit. Um, she was always helping someone. And um, my aunt, she uh, had her own daycare in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and she's 78, she just retired. And that was also the drive for me opening my business, my aunt and my mother, um, and my other aunt, uh, Albertha Jackson. She was a business owner as well, and she's like a second mom to me. She actually um, does hair. 
and taught me how to do hair. Um, and those two uh, young ladies, um, Alberta Jackson and uh, Betty Ann Thomas, um, both of them, my aunt, they were amazing business owners. So where do you see yourself in the future? I know you have so many things planned and you mentioned your app. Talk a little bit more about that. And is that part of your vision for the future? And it, it was um, Cynthia McAllister. And she created this app for the business, and it's amazing. Um, you know, you it's like a one-stop shop. You'll be able to connect to providers, and you'll be able to um, have parents come on and um, that's looking for child care or summer camps. And um, I'm just so thankful that you have a vision. And when you uh, uh, share it with someone like Cynthia McAllister, and she can execute your vision, that, that means a lot. And I'm just thankful that um, she was able to listen, understand, and execute uh, my business to the next level. And then you also have all of these women events that you're planning and um, things that you're doing within your child care center. Where do you see that in the future? I see that we are getting ready to do some amazing things. We are working on a project as we speak, I talked about earlier, where we are helping women, um, business owners to get funding, um, to push them out of their comfort zone and to the next level to grow their business as well. So we're not um, succeeding in our own business, but we are help pulling the other entrepreneurs um, that um, doesn't have a mentorship or doesn't have anyone to help them to show them um, what they need to do. Uh, you can be in your business, but at some point you want to step out of those shoes and brand your business even more. So building a team that shares that vision as you do. Um, I love the book Traction uh, with Gina Wickman, where he talks about the EOS uh, worldwide system um, is is definitely a book you want to go out and get. I know you've been able to share with other business owners words of wisdom. How about if you share with the audience, what are some words of wisdom as a business owner that would be helpful for, for someone who is either in business or looking to start their own business? Basically, you want to make sure that um, you're finding a team that shares the vision as you do. Um, you have an idea, don't sit on it. You know, you want to go out and, and, and get the information you need. Reach out to uh, the mentorship that we are starting uh, with women-owned business, getting your certifications, connecting. Uh, I'm a part of WeBet, uh, the DC DMV area. I'm a part of uh, one, the One Million Women uh, with Goldman Sachs, and uh, I'm a part of uh, Washington President Educational Organizations and the Greater Washington Black Chamber of Commerce. Um, I was in the Mayor's Green Book 2019. Uh, we are BBBA Plus, and um, just the different organizations that we have connected with DSLBD and the WACIF and um, the list just goes on and on, but those connections is the key to getting you and getting your business spotlight. Um, I was spotlighted on LinkedIn and Instagram with Wake Up. So you definitely want to um, get in the connections and, and being on these webinars and, and connecting with different people, it will put you in different platforms and help your business grow to the level that you want it to grow because you want people to know the great things that you're doing. And that's what my goal is. My goal is to uh, spotlight on these entrepreneurs that's in these different communities that's making an impact that they are, don't nobody know about them. And I want to bring light and let people know that there are people out here that has the passion and the vision to uh, do great things. And it needs to be recognized and people need to know who they are. You said it. 
if you are someone in business and you're looking to grow, you have to network. You have to meet with people. You have to be part of different organizations that can put the word out because you never know who is watching. You never know who that one connection that you need to take you to the next level. So what other, what other words or information would you like to share while we are uh, here sharing with our audience? Well, I actually just created my clothing and accessories, and it's empowered women. Um, we have some amazing um, garments that's coming out. I definitely want you to look me up on um, Instagram at Fidget, Latrell, Twitter, Facebook. Um, check me out. Um, we got a store coming up, um, and we're going to be doing some amazing things. And I just wanted to put different pieces of uh, knowledge and education uh, to empower young people, um, teenagers, adults, um, just pushing them. And that's my brand, push. So we want to push you through those barriers. We want to push you out of that comfort zone to the next level um, so that you can grow your business. You can be the next uh Michelle Walker Davis or Cynthia McAllister or Latrell Fitchett. And the list goes on and on. It's some amazing women that's doing some amazing things um, all over the world. We have different women, um, Dr. Colonna Roberts that's doing things in Philadelphia and uh, uh, Get Fit by Jay in Atlanta. You know, we, we have connection with so many people that are doing some wonderful things and all over the world. And we want them to be recognized. Um, they need to be spotlighted and they need to be heard. So Latrell, we talked about how Keyspot has supported your business. So why would you recommend people joining the Keyspot Business Partner Network and being part of the program for helping to promote their business? Um, Keyspot uh, has this app that business owners will get advertisement, will get um, exposure that they may not get um, just being on their own. Um, the connection of so many entrepreneurs on that platform alone, the traffic that you're gonna receive on your websites or, or your connection that you're gonna get, uh, is just phenomenal. I, I'm just so thankful to be a part because had I not been on the webinar with Goldman Sachs, One Million Women, I wouldn't have met Cynthia. And, you know, um, I've, she's created an app for me. Um, she's, I've connected with other business owners and was able to partner with them. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just a great app that you definitely want to be a part of. And then she does quarterly grant. So, you definitely want to go over there to Keyspot app. Um, the connection, like I stated, um, is very beneficial to you and your business. And I definitely want you know individuals to check us out um, on pushingstem.weebly.com. We are doing some amazing things. Um, getting ready to start classes of helping people uh, build their credit scores and be uh, homeowners. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your home and want to be in your home for Christmas, definitely go to the website. We are doing some amazing things. And my goal is to help everyone from children to teenagers, to young adults, and adults. Um, I'm, my goal is to help as many people as I can. Because just like I stated earlier, sharing is caring. And when you show, show love, God is love, and God is going to bless you abundantly when you help his children. So Latrell, I love the name, Promoting Love and Wisdom Home Child Care Center. I think that's great because it, it says it all. You want to help people with their child care, but you're also promoting wisdom and love. That's the most important thing. So are you looking to grow beyond your current location? What's happening next? Um, now we are in the process of opening our second space. We actually implemented art into the STEM program, so it's STEAM. Um, we are 
actually going to be moving into that second space, um, ages uh, 5 to 12. And then we're going to also have a space in there for the pre-K enhancement for three and four-year-olds. Um, it's going to be a state of the art. The architect, uh, uh, Graham Faro, um, they designed an amazing blueprint for this uh, facility. And it's going to be uniformed. Uh, the hours will be 8.45 to 3.45, but we will have before and after care. Uh, also, in the evenings, we're going to offer the CDA classes. Um, we have CDA classes in uh, Southeast and, and Northwest. Uh, 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 Ms. Rawlins with Southeast Children's Fund. And, and then we have uh, Mary Center, which I am a partner of Mary Center. But we're going to offer CDA classes in Northeast. And we're going to provide child care services for individuals who want to be an educator and don't have uh, uh, anywhere to uh, take their children. We're going to provide those services to you. Again, go to that website, pushingstem.weebly, um, because we're going to be having those trainings. Uh, we already now offer uh, first aid CPR and food handlers. So if you're trying to get into hospitality, definitely get your food handled. If you are trying to uh, deal with uh, uh, the recreation center, you have to be first aid CPR. So we are doing some amazing things and we are bringing it all in War 7. So definitely check us out. Um, we are doing some amazing things and we're trying to help as many people as we can. Well, Latrell, you are a, an amazing person, and I'm so thankful that you've been on our show to share you and your business and being part of the Key Spot Business Partner Program. And I just want to say thank you again for coming on the Food Coma, sharing your wonderful recipe, which we will share at the end of the show. And for those watching, thank you for joining us today, and we will see you for another episode of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America, sponsored by Key Spot by Quality SAP. See you next time.